Hello, New Prospect family. Welcome to phase one of reopening. Uh, we are so excited uh, to meet with you in person this Sunday morning at 11 o'clock in our Family Life Center and worship our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, we are excited to worship with you folks who will be joining us online as well. We will be streaming that on Facebook and YouTube. But we're shooting this video today because we want you uh, to know uh, not only are we excited to meet together and, and get uh, started with phase one reopening, but we want you to know how serious we are taking this phased opening. Uh, your uh, health and well being are of utmost importance to us. Um, we want you to know that uh, your pastoral staff here, Brady and myself, uh, we have been following Governor Northam's press releases each and every week of this stay-at-home order. Uh, we have been sitting in on countless webinars over the past couple of months uh, that focus on how the church can respond during COVID-19 and how it can safely reopen once restrictions are lifted. And so now that the governor has lifted some of the restrictions on religious services, uh, we have implemented this phase one reopening uh, here at New Prospect Baptist Church. Uh, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take you through what these uh, first regatherings are going to look like. We're going to take, take you through what the service will look like um, and what safety precautions and guidelines uh, we are following to ensure the safety and well-being of everyone that will be attending. And last, uh, we will take you on a tour of the facility so that you can see all of this plan in action. Um, we thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, let's go ahead and let's first take a look at some of the guidelines and restrictions that are in place that we will be adhering to. Looking at number one, occupancy shall be limited to no more than 50%. Our occupancy load in the Family Life Center is 300. Uh, so we can have uh, up to 150 people. Uh, we have 150 chairs in the Family Life Center right now, and we have the sanctuary prepped as overflow, but we're not expecting to use that at this point. Uh, number two, individuals must be seated at least six feet apart unless they are family. All of our seating is in compliance with this. Uh, in fact, uh, we are asking folks, once you uh, take a seat, if you would remain seated there until the end of the service. Number three, it is recommended that persons uh, wear face coverings over their nose and mouth. While this is not mandated, we are strongly encouraging it. Number four, no items must be passed to or between attendees, uh, and we will not be having bulletins in this service, and we will not be passing the offering plate. Uh, we will have a drop box set up for offerings at the conclusion of the service as you exit the building. Uh, number five uh, does not apply to us at this point because we will not have a welcome center, so there will be no food or beverages. Number six, a thorough cleaning and disinfecting of frequently contacted surfaces must be conducted, and I can promise you that we will be doing that. We're also posting signage at the entrances uh, stating if anyone with a fever or symptoms of COVID-19 or known exposure in the past two weeks uh, will not be permitted in this service. Uh, we're also posting uh, other public health reminders regarding social distancing. And the last one is not a guideline, but it just uh, shows you how serious the state is taking this and how serious we are taking this. And that is, if any place of worship cannot adhere to these requirements, uh, that uh, family of faith will not be allowed to conduct their services. All right, so now we want to give you guys a tour of the facility so that you can see exactly what it's going to look like when you arrive Sunday morning. So our service starts at 11 a.m., uh, so the doors will open at 10.45 a.m. We're asking folks to please stay in your car until the doors open at 10.45. Once the doors are open, uh, we are asking folks to exit their vehicle and come straight inside. We're discouraging any social gathering in the parking lot. Uh, we want you guys just to go ahead and come on inside. So we're going to take a look at that. Um, you're going to—it's everything is taking place. Our service is taking place in the Family Life Center. Uh, so you'll approach uh, the entrance of the Family Life Center here. Uh, the doors will be open, and we will have an usher stationed here. 
uh, that will be providing hand sanitizer for each attendee coming in. Uh, once you come in, as you can see, we'll have an usher stationed here uh, to assist you with seating, and the seating is spaced out six feet apart uh, to encourage social distancing. Uh, we do have the blue lines on the floor as well. They serve a purpose as well. The blue lines delineate the aisles we have set up in the Family Life Center, and uh, it's designed to assist in foot traffic. So we are asking folks uh, as you go to and from your seat to follow the blue lines and just stay, remain in the aisles. Uh, so don't weave in and out of the aisles, but just uh, stay on the main aisle that your seat is located on. Uh, so you do see seats set up here in the back. Those are not for seating. Um, those are for our usher team to pull from in case we need to uh, set up any additional seating. Uh, again, we do have the sanctuary set up for overflow, but we're not expecting to, uh, to have to use that. The stage is set. Uh, Ronnie will be here uh, Sunday morning to assist us with ProPresenter and streaming our uh, service on Facebook and YouTube. And so we are ready to go. We're asking you folks, uh, please don't move any chairs in here as we do have them set up uh, for social distancing. If you need assistance with uh, moving a chair, ask one of our ushers. Uh, they'll be happy to help you. What does our service not look like this Sunday morning? So we will not have Sunday school, uh, children's church, nursery. Uh, we won't have our welcome center open. Uh, we will not have bathrooms available for use. Uh, this Sunday morning, uh, and we, there will be no meet and greet time. We won't pass the offering plate. Uh, we will have a drop box at the exit. Uh, as you exit the building after the service, you can drop your offering in that, and there will be no bulletins, okay? Um, so uh, we're excited about the opportunity to gather together with you as a family of faith and worship our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's not going to look like a normal Sunday, but it's one step closer to normalcy. And so we're excited about that. We're excited to see you. Uh, we hope you will join us, uh, whether it's on site or online. We're excited to worship this Sunday morning, and we hope to see you then.